Hi guys, welcome to the Aspie World. Um, I'm just going to be doing a video today answering questions for one of my subscribers, uh, Liz Day. Um, and she's asked me a host of things which I've got here on my phone, so I'm going to do the best I can to answer them for you. Um, so Liz has asked um, some stuff from my childhood experiences. Um, well, my childhood was interesting because um, I was very quiet, didn't have many friends. I had like one or two friends. Um, my parents thought I was really shy, so um, they were always trying to kind of get me to go out and stuff. But I was very, you'd say, ag agoraphobic when I was a child. Um, but I didn't go out to play. I would only go to my garden, um, I, you know, and I didn't want to go outside of those kind of boundaries. Um, and that was hard for my parents, I guess. I was really comfortable, comfortable with it, and I didn't see an issue with it, you see. Um, but, you know, I was really occupied by, like, space and robots and things like that. So, you know, they kind of got me the information I needed and all the stuff I wanted to do to build and things for my electronics and things like that. So it wasn't too bad, but I think I was unhappy a lot of the time because they didn't understand me. Um, so I think, you know, that's, you know, it's not good. But, uh, but that, that was basically my childhood in a nutshell. Um, but things like school, um, schooling, somebody's asked me this before, but schooling was interesting. Um, my learning needs was never met in school, so people didn't know my learning style, so I was always put into unusual classes where maybe the uh, the average IQ of the children was lower than the, uh, you know, lower than average, sorry. Um, and this caused an issue because when my IQ may be above average, uh, my intelligence is above average intelligence, um, the people I was put into a class with you know, we were doing work that was non-related to the subject, which was really a bizarre. So it was kind of like being in a special ed unit, but not having the um, the support for the, the areas where you, where you need it. So, you know, not all classes, but a, a few. And I think this helped, you know, didn't help me with my, my schooling career, which is why I'm going to go back to college now to do access courses to go to university because I never got the grades that I needed. So, um because of lack of support, really. So, um, nighttime sleep. Um, uh, I have a big problem with sleeping. Um, I, I'm very, um, a very light sleeper. You could say that I have a bad time falling asleep. My mind running a thousand miles an hour, so I can never really um, calm myself to sleep. Um, when I do sleep, I have to. Um, I can't, I don't, I don't fall asleep right away, I, I wait a while and then sleep, um, and it's a hard thing sometimes to sleep, sometimes I miss out on sleep altogether, sometimes I wake up, I'm lightly sleep, I'm woken by all kinds of noises, um, so yeah, sleeping is a big issue for me, but it always has been as well, um, which brings me on to my next thing, um, which she's asked also um, what my fears and anxieties are like, well one of my fears is is the dark, I'm scared of the dark, I sleep with the lights on um, because I can't sleep in the dark because I get too scared. Um, another fear of mine is balloons, I don't like balloons. Um, I, I don't like onions. Um, uh, I, got, I had certain phobia over a certain type of cup uh, before, so uh, I didn't drink out of those cups. Uh, I still don't actually, I don't actually like those cups. Um, so I have a kind of a niche phobias and fears, um, you know. Uh, friendships. Um, my friendship relationships are okay. Uh, they're okay. Like, I have, when people understand me and who I am, then I have a really good relationship with those people. Uh, and I have loads of respect and love for those people. Um, but some of my friends don't always get me. They don't understand my condition. They don't get my way of thinking so they get frustrated with me quite easy and sometimes it can be a challenge to keep these relationships stable uh, also especially with not wanting to turn up to birthday parties and things like that you know they can't understand that and then you get looked at as a you know being an arrogant person who doesn't like them and that's not the case you know I don't not like them I just don't like parties and things like that so um, uh, it's an interesting one I think I have good relationships with the people who I need to have good relationships with. Um, and that's all I can say on that. But um, listen, I hope all this has been um, informative and helpful to anybody who wanted to know these questions. 
Um, if you have any other questions and suggestions, please email me. Uh, the email address is in the about bit of this uh, YouTube channel, and um, I'll do the best I can to get these out for you guys. Thank you so much for the questions, Liz. Um, thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys soon, and uh, keep the questions coming. Bye, guys.